Monograms 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air Convertible coming up next on What's in the Box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Celescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well today we're going to look at the 1955 Chevy which was a total redesign for General Motors back in that era. This was a hot selling car back in the day and everybody wanted one because Chevrolet had basically had some pretty family looking type cars in the past. So now let's go down to our table and open up the lid on this baby because it might just make a great Christmas present for somebody. So let's go there. Now we take the lid off this monogram 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air kit. Skill level three. This kit is pretty cool as you are about to see. And we start with our instruction sheet. Bought for me by Julie, that's my wife, July 31st, 2001. For $9 from Zellers in Calgary. I think it's time I built one of these things. <laughs> okay, so this goes into some description of the types of engines and they had in 55. And there's the engine block going together. And the chassis with your upper A arms and lower A arms, steering box, front springs, and your exhaust. As you can see, there are quite a lot of parts to this kit. There's the cross frames and the springs going in, the rear wheels, the multi piece interior with separate door panels. It's always a joy to detail those. A three piece dashboard. And then your instrument panels and everything. This is pretty much a stock only kit, but I don't mind that. It's a body going on. And you get the clear washer bottle for your windshield washer fluid. A spare tire, continental kit, side skirts, separate chrome on the sides, chromed windshield frames, sun visors. And there's all your interior and exterior paint colors, as well as the choice of up or down tops. Now let's see how that translates into the plastic. Okay, everything is still in its bags, so let's just move this over here. And we'll start by opening the first bag. Hobby knife in there. The pocket knife. <laughs> uh, not too keen on the color of this kit. I mean, it's kind of salmon pink, I guess. Popular 50s color. There's a up convertible top roof and the white walls inserts for our tires. There's our Chevy body with deep sunken inserts for the chrome. You'll have to remove these pieces. Very nice. There's the interior. Look at that nice crisp detail on there. The package shelf even depresses in here like it should. It's got the ashtrays. Smoking was a thing back then. Approved by the Surgeon General and Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Just being silly. I don't know if Flintstones was 55. That's more later 60s, but still. There's a nice detail on the seats. It's funny they didn't mold this in white as well to match the roof. Uh, the up top, I guess you, I'd say. There's our clear pieces including the side vent windows. I get a very small decal sheet, some license plates and a couple of the underhood stickers and a little, I guess it's the owner's manual. Then we have our parts molded in, well it's not molded in chrome, but chrome plated parts. It's nice details with the little thin wiry 
bumpers. There's our instrument panel with the chrome on it. Nice crisp detail. There's two of our tires. Nondescript tires, but they do include the insert for your white wall. The relief for your white wall, I should say. I do say. And then we've got our parts that are molded in black. So really there's three colors, white, white, salmon pink, and black going on. And, just, and of course our transparent red for our tail lights. And there's our two chrome trees. This is actually not really black. It's more like a steel black. There's our frame bits and suspension components. And here we have our spare tire and engine and all those nice little parts. And that brings us to the conclusion of our 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air review. Well, I hope you enjoyed this amazing episode of Monster Hobby's What's in the Box. And hopefully, it's only a few more days till Christmas, you might find something like this under your tree. But, if you don't... <laughs> I can't help you, but anyway, if you want to check out the other car videos in this series, please check here, here, and right down there. And don't forget to see our website at www.monster-hobbies.ca and like and subscribe to us right over here so we can continue to make these amazing videos. And until next time, have a good holiday season.